Hi guys, it's me, Boog! Yeah! And today we're gonna be reviewing the Batman, the Blackest Night, uh, Batman. Right, from the Blackest Night comic book series. And also in the Archero, uh, Archero Sidious, build a figure wave. Yeah, so the Blackest Night series gives you, uh, I think it's called Atrocitus. 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 Atrocitus, yes, Atrocitus. Uh, build a fig, which he looks pretty cool. Uh, Boogle flick it around and give you a shot of Atrocitus on the back there. He looks very gnarly. Yes. And as you can see, with this particular build a fig, we get his, I guess, his arms, right? Left we arms? Get, we get his arms with this figure. And then, let's see. We get the head sculpt and shoulder pads with Death Storm. Okay. Then we get his torso with Green Lantern. And then with Evil Superman, we get his legs. Absolutely. So follow us along. This will be our normal Build a Fig series. Uh, four videos with all four figs. And then the finale, uh, Build a Fig. And you can see the Blackest Night logo is here on the edge of the box. That's kind of cool. Um, so yeah, this is it. All right, give us a minute to get him unpacked, and uh, we'll be showing you off the fig. And we're back. All right. So this is um, <clears throat> Batman. From um, the Darkest Night series. Also known as Zombie Batman. Yes, yeah, Zombie Batman. So <clears throat> pretty much what's happened here in this particular uh, comic book strip is um, Black Lantern, uh, someone has taken over uh, the controls, the rings of Black Lantern, and he has resurrected all the dead uh, or dead people. So happens to resurrect a dead Batman because uh, Batman was apparently killed earlier uh, by Dark Side, <laughs> so, so he's been resurrected, and unfortunately, he now is a zombie. So this is what we get. Oh. Kind of a different take on the Batman. Well, before we get to too much details, let's take a look at the build a figure pieces. Okay, yes. So we get uh, the arms. Can we, get, right. can we get to more details where we actually built the Very nice. Here? And let me read you up on the catch up speed on exactly what's going on with this figure. Um, I'll just kind of get to the good stuff. Yeah, because you should probably know the rest yeah. of the stuff. Yeah, we already know Bruce Wayne, you know, and his whole story. All that's the same here. But so you need to go watch the Batman but, movies. Yes, during the Blackest Night, the Black Hand uses his power over the Black Lantern rings to raise the dead and unleash his army of Black Lanterns on the universe. Among those resurrected is Bruce Wayne, a.k.a. Batman, who had recently been slain by Darkseid. Wow. Okay. That's exciting. All right. <laughs> so there he is. is. He's been raised from the dead, and he's back. Wow. So, zombie Batman. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. I like it. Not bad at all. And I guess, because he has, so he kind of has, the, is this like the black hand symbol, I'm thinking? Yeah, I think that's the black lantern symbol. Okay, yeah, so he is a black lantern, basically. Yeah. And, of course, he's doing, I guess, doing his bidding. But yeah, it's really cool. I love the detail on all this. McFarlane did another awesome job and knocked it out of the park. I really like the look at the face. He definitely looks like a bat. He didn't get fangs. That would have been kind of cool, right? Get yeah. fangs. But then he looks more zombie-like than that like. Yeah, I think I think guess that was the idea. Right. Um, and then, of course, the really tattered cape. To build uh, Atrocitus, uh, you pretty much have to have Batman. And uh, what is this? So it's, uh, Batman, Deathstorm, Green Lantern, and... Uh, and Black Lantern Superman. Yeah, and that'll pretty much get you your... Um, your death, I mean, your uh, atrocitous uh, pieces. Uh, this is what we got out of the Batman set, His two, both of his arms. And today we're going to get his head skin and shoulder pads. Right. There's a good look at the front of the box. Just collect the four, makes it pretty simple, and you get to build him atrocitous, which looks absolutely awesome. Um, and now we're going to open up the Death Storm. Okay, cool. Let's go, babe. Give us just a second, we'll be right back. And we're back. I don't know what Jared's doing with thumbs up there, but we're back. Oh, yes, we're back. Okay, and we have Death Storm, formerly known as Firestorm. Yes. But first, take a look at the build a few pieces. We get the head sculpt. Oh, he looks gnarly. And this is, that's, um... Head uh, to the radar, so click on that. Wait, uh, hold on. We have his name. Body armor. That is... Atrocitus. Yeah, Atrocitus. Atrocitus. So we get armor. Yeah. So we've had some really crazy stuff going on. So we get, so we get some shoulder, shoulder armor. 
That's kind of cool. I don't think we've seen that before, have we? Yeah. Not in McFarlane anyway. Um, so that's where we're at with the Trocitus. Um, right, here's the figure. Yeah, there's some wild stuff going on in this comic book ser- series. So a lot of weirdness. So we've got like some guys coming back from the dead. Uh, the Black Lantern, I guess, has actually become um, Firestorm, which is yeah. now Deathstorm uh, because he died. But then he come back as the Black Lantern. It's really complicated. But anyway, uh, let me read you up on the card here first and show it off because it's really cool. The artwork is awesome. And I forgot to show Batman's last time, so that's that's dead Batman um, as he comes back. So, so this is real name, Ronald Ronnie Raymond. Uh, Ronald Ronnie Raymond. <laughs> that's a tongue twister. Yeah. Ronald Ronnie Raymond. All right. The result. This is a lot to take in here, so be prepared. The result of the deceased Firestorm being taken host by a Black Lantern ring Deathstorm joined the ranks of the undead Black Lanterns set on destroying all life as we know it throughout the universe. As a key threat in Blackest Night, Deathstorm is part of the siege on Earth to defend the Black Lantern battery and task with fighting the remaining members of the Justice League. See, I'm guessing remaining because, members. Huh. I'm, I'm, guessing, I'm guessing because he has the ring, that means that he is the, the Black Lantern. The Black Lantern, yeah, he's got to be, right? Because he's, he's got the Lantern, right? Yeah. yeah, okay. So anyway, here he is. I'm going to move him up a little closer if I can do it without knocking him off, just so you guys can get a look. Uh, he is absolutely awesome, I think, as far as just action figure goes. It looks great. Lots of good detail. Comes holding his Lantern. Um, the head sculpt to me is the best. I mean, that looks so cool. Yeah, it turns back around. Make sure you guys can see it really good. But yeah, they they nailed this one with the artwork for sure. And the 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 what the head head scan. It was certainly it's not based on a real person. It's not his head scan, but yeah, it's yeah, a head, head scan. scan. The head scan. So you can see how cool he looks there. Well, maybe awesome. maybe a skull scan. Now, we don't have a firestorm, do we? No. So we don't really know what he looked like before he was Deathstorm. But I'm sure we're gonna get one sooner or later. Yeah. But yeah, this is a really good figure, and um, so far well, I'm thinking probably that time we're probably gonna forget that def- that they're actually the same person. Yes, probably, probably gonna will. forget that probably. at that point. But I'm thinking we're gonna um, I'm thinking so far this is a pretty good build a series set. I'm yeah. really happy, and that's from 2022, so it's not too too new. Yeah. Uh, a little over a year old. Um, even not though, sure what part of 2022 had come out, even though I think it's like just sitting shelves now, which is weird. Yeah, because we've seen some of these in, in stores, right? Yeah. But I guess it is kind of weird, but sometimes it's not, because sometimes these things just get delayed. Yeah. It's really weird how, how that works. I don't know if they set in a warehouse somewhere forever. I know Walmart's bad about doing that. Walmart yeah. will set stuff in a warehouse forever until they sell out of whatever current stuff they have on the shelf. Yeah. Build I, mean, I, think, I, think, I think we got used to the last set. I think it's like something like, something like Darkest Night. A lot of nights. Night, I think it was Darkest Night. This yeah, is Blackest Night. Like yeah, come on, give us a break here. But anyway, so far this has been a really interesting set. This is kind of where they all come back. Pretty, as zombies. pretty much every single series is so, something night. <laughs> yes, dark, light, greatest, smallest, largest, <laughs> damn Batista. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. So anyhow, uh, this is figure number three. Uh, obviously, it's Green Lantern. This is our first Green Lantern. Well, actually, it's Green Lantern Kyle Rayner. Okay, not sure what that means, but I guess we're going to find out. I guess that's who, which Green Lantern this is, I guess. Yeah, and you can see it comes with his torso. Boog will flip it around and show you what we're, what we're looking to build. Mr. Atrocitus there. Uh, it doesn't show his full body, but he looks pretty cool. So we, only have, we only have one figure figure left, and that's uh, Black Lantern Superman. Yeah, and so far, just catch up to date, we've got his head. Uh, we've got some arms. Pretty yeah. large arms. I think he's going to be a pretty big guy. And his shoulder pads. And shoulder pads, yes. So we're going to get the torso here. Yeah. All right. See you in just a minute, folks. Hey, we're back. Right. And we have uh, the Green Lantern. Kyle Rayner. Kyle Rayner. Yes. All right. Can you move him up a little bit, Boo? So our folks get a good look at him. He comes with an amazing uh, Green Lantern sword. Yes. So actually, has two things. It's huge. He also has the Green Lantern. Oh, so he has the Green Lantern and the Green Lantern sword yeah. and the ring. Yes. Wow, this guy is the real deal. He is legit. Yeah. Green Lantern. All right, so here's his card. Very nice. Um, and here's the build figure piece, the torso. Yes. Think, think. I think this guy is going to be pretty huge, this build a yeah. fig. So anyhow, I'm going to read to you what's going on here with Green Lantern. It's kind of a lot of words, so bear with me. So this is Kyle Rayner, uh, his real name. After Hal Jordan succumbs to the influence of the Parallax and the Green Lantern corpse crumbles, the Guardian Ganthet travels to Earth and bestows the final Green Lantern power ring to artist Kyle Rayner. Rather than protect, rather than protecting just Earth and Space Sector 2814, it's now Kyle's responsibility 
to guard the entire universe as the sole Green Lantern until the Guardians and the Corpse return. During the Blackest Night, an army of Black Lanterns attacked the Guardians' homeworld of Oa, where many of the Green Lanterns also reside, including Kyle Rayner. Looking to defend the planet, Kyle flies into action with the other Lanterns by his side. Okay, that's it. So, doesn't really give us a whole lot of details on uh, Black Lantern or Firestorm, or, I mean, I mean, of Dead Batman and Firestorm and all that. But uh, I guess we may have to read the comic to really get all the good details, right, Boog? Yeah. So anyway, but as far as the action figure goes, I think this guy looks great. Yeah. He nailed it. It's like Green Lantern to me all day long. Um, love the ring, suit, everything flows good. Sword is really cool. Yeah. And as Boog showed you, we get a Green Lantern with it. So yeah, this is a pretty good figure. Great news here. Apparently, Superman has died, has been resurrected as a as a zombie Black Lantern. Well, actually, we haven't read the card yet, but that's what we were just guessing based on the other characters. I'm so confused. It seems terrible, though. Well, earlier in the wave, we got... A uh, zombie Batman. Yes, resurrected dead Batman. And then... We have... Uh, we have... Uh, Dark Death Storm. Yes. Which is resurrected uh, Firestorm. And then we have a normal Green Lantern. Thank goodness. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's so out of place. And then now we're back to zombies with yeah. Superman's version here, I guess. Um, well, but also, who's complaining about going back to zombies? Jeez. Oh, that's true. We do love zombies. And he is really cool looking. I'll have to say that. Who's back with yeah. the Atrocitus. And there's Atrocitus. And there's the other side of the box. Unfortunately, we still don't know who Atrocitus is, but we're going to find well, out soon. Actually, I, I, I do know who the who Atrocitus is. You do? He is the Red Lantern. Really? Yeah. <laughs> do you know this? I don't uh, know this. Well, What's a Red Lantern? Uh well but yeah okay so uh we'll get to uh we'll get to that more of that and we we'll to build Atrocitus but now let's uh open up uh evil Superman absolutely see you in a minute and we're back all right so uh first before we get to the figure here's the build the figure part pieces we get the legs some super tall atrocities. long legs yes absolutely. And here is uh, Evil Zombie Superman. Yes, we have Zombie Superman. And man, is he cool or what? This guy. Oh, yeah. He is definitely brought back from the dead um, to become Black Lantern. Well, no, he's not quite Black Lantern. He's just possessed by Black Lantern. Oh, possessed by Black Lantern. Got it. Yeah, look at this. Look at the details. Jeez. But All right. He also kind of looks. So, like, yeah. He also his cards. He also looks like he's really about to fall over, to, like turn to dust any minute now. Yeah, it looks even more, more, more devastating in his, uh, in his, in his comic book card. There, his face yeah. is like melting off, literally. <laughs> Jeez, well, that's, that's terrifying. Pretty much to say exactly what's going on with with this one. All too. right, so let's get his card up. So here. most of it, of course, you have data file. Cal L. Clark Kent, adopted name. So, um, of course, it just gives us the backstory, which we all know in Superman. If you um, don't, comes from Krypton. And if it's superpower from the sun, he's raised by the Kents. Da, 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 da. If you don't, they need to go watch some Superman movies. Right. So, but this is the important part referring to this particular character. After his death in Infinite Crisis, the Superman of Earth Dash 2, not Dash 1, Dash 2, is revived by Black Lantern Ring and attacks the Superman of Earth Dash 1. And Superboy, Connor Kent, in Smallville. So this is the resurrected body of Superman of Earth-2. Which, uh, yeah, we have no idea what the difference is. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. We, we thought we were on to something, but we have uh, Earth-1 dash or thing we're uh, the structure or dash one and it's even so. more completely backwards in my brain because i would think this would be superman of earth because you would think superman of earth dash one would die first and then you would have superman of earth dash two but no superman of earth dash one is the one that gets attacked by the dead one which is dash two <laughs> okay i don't understand any of this all right anyway <laughs> but the character itself the figure is awesome it is very very yes. cool i'm pretty happy with this set uh, I don't think so. Now we've opened the last one uh, in the build of fate, obviously, to build um, Atrocitus. Yes. Yeah. So I will give you a little peek here of everybody. So there's not a bad figure in the set. They, uh, all of these figures are very, very cool. They do well, they will say all that the zombie Batman does have a standing issue. Uh, a little bit, yeah. It may just be because I don't have his joints worked out right. But so this is everybody in the set. Uh, zombie Batman. Uh, basically, a zombie uh, Firestorm. Death Storm. Death Storm. Yeah. Otherwise known as Death Storm. We have Green Lantern, 
And, and we have Zombie uh, Evil Superman, Superman, which is really cool, too. So, yeah, and we've seen these at the stores a lot recently, so this is definitely something that hit your, the, the Walmarts and the Targets. Not all do, at least not ours. Um, that may have something to do with it. Maybe depend on region or something, but there's a ton of sets that we don't see, but this one we actually happen to get at ours. Yeah. Um, so that was kind of cool to see something we've actually seen in the stores because most of the time we had to find most of the stuff online. Thank you, Amazon. Um, <laughs> so, and I guess the McFarlane store tour. Sto- toy, to- to- toy store, to- 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 toy store, yeah, toy store, yeah. <laughs> toy store. yeah. <laughs> Damn, where'd you get a list, bro? So we got some some characters that are based on this series, and we also got an awesome um, uh, build a fig here. So we in got uh, the leg, Atrocitus, the arms, shoulder pads, and the head scan. Yes, so Boog is going to start the assembly. Well, I kind of show you the figures that came in this wave. Oh, and the torso. Yes, gotta have the torso. Yeah, kind of weird without it. Yeah. Um, all right, so we have uh, basically as, there's a lot of zombies in this in this series, which is really cool. So we have basically zombie uh, firestorm storm known as dark storm, and there's complete reviews on all these on the channel. So if you want to get an in depth review of them, um, don't forget to look for those. Zombie Superman, zombie Batman, and the only non zombie in the group. Crane Lantern! Dun, dun. So these are very, very cool. So yeah, I don't think there's a bad one in the bunch. I think this is a good series to collect. Like I said, if you want this build a fig and Atrocitus, um, like I said, there's no reason you shouldn't be able to pick this up. I think they're all easily found on Amazon right now. And a lot of them are at reduced prices, too. You can get a, a few of these guys, I know, for like 12 or 13 bucks. I think even when I've got one of this one at Christmas time, he might even be in like $10 or something. A little, a little cheap. So... This is a good set to get, uh, I feel like. Because Atrocitus, so far, is looking awesome. Awesome. This guy is huge. At least really tall, right, Boo? Yeah. He might set the record. I don't know if we got to build a fig this tall. Boo's almost got him together here. Wow. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This guy's awesome. He's like seven foot one. <laughs> I know, so yeah, we'll put up the rest of the members here of the gang. And he's already tall. I mean, you got to remember, these are DC figs. So these are seven inch figs. These so, are, so he's probably more eight foot. Yeah, these are already bigger than your WWE figures and your Marvel figures. Actually, I don't know about bigger than WWE figures. They, I think they're about, I think they're close. Close? Are, are, are really WWE figures seven inches? I don't yeah. think they're this big. Yeah, they're seven inch. Okay, hold on. I've got, we've got one right here. Let's just take a peek. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, no. All right, so here's uh, Ada Batiste. Yeah, that's me. Boog Batiste. Yes. Let's just put him up there. All right, Boog's yeah. right. Yeah. They're close. Yeah. About half an inch difference. Yeah. So, yeah, if these are seven inch, I can tell you use about six and a half inch. Yeah. So, and then I want to say uh, the Mattel stuff is what generally? Maybe five, six yeah. inches? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. So, anyway. Um, but yeah, so this is this is a huge figure. I'm gonna take measure out quick. We'll take exactly how tall he is. Yeah, well, Dad's doing that. I'm actually gonna go get some comparisons. So be right back. Okay, we got some comparisons. Right. So I'm gonna slide out a couple of these guys. We've all seen those. Like I said, the reviews are on the channel. So here is a dark. Uh, Dark side, not, you know, not dark side, not dark side. Doomsday, Doomsday from Mattel, from the Mattel before McFarlane took over. So you can see he's a great bit taller than this guy. Not knocking this character off. This is a really cool character. I do love this guy, but he is much bigger. Just a high comparison. There he is next to Bane. Um, yeah, Bane's kind of a newer McFarlane. Well, not newer, but about three years. Yeah. Three years old. He's actually technically our first McFarlane, technically. Yeah, build a fig. He is. Yeah. And you can see he really towers over Bane. Can I put him right behind him? You can't see. Yeah, there you go. His head, a whole head. Yeah, head and shoulders above. Of course, Bane Bane makes up with the absolute bulk yeah. of his hugeness. He weighs a hundred pounds. Yeah, here he is next to Beast Boy. Beast Boy's is equal. Uh Beast Boy is bulkier, but I'm gonna say height wise. They're probably the same. Yeah. And we're going to give you an actual measurement here. Of course, you know, it all kind of depends how you, know, you try to give a straight, yeah. uh, straight Ho- up. Ho- hopefully, Jay has got over the trauma of love the last time he used a tape out here. Yeah, on, on video. That was terrible. <laughs> so we are looking at. You don't know what we're talking about. The, yeah. Uh, to, yeah, last time he used a tape out here on video, it's blowing in his face. All right. So my thumb here 
is at let's turn around, it's at 10 inches. So it's not quite 10. Um, or I'm going to call it nine and a half. I think it's about nine and a half inches tall. I love that beast boy. And beast boy, uh, so that's nine, half is there. I'm going to say the same. Yeah. Nine and a half inches. So there's 10. Yeah. So about both are about nine and a half inches tall. Um, so yeah, definitely the two tallest build of figs that we have. Well, actually, no. I'm pretty sure Colipse is also the same height from Marvel. Really? Yeah. Okay. Let's well, we'll get him. Okay, so we're back. So we actually figured out that uh, we actually did have Atrocitus's legs all the way pushed uh, pushed together. So actually, he is just a bit taller than Beast Boy. Yeah, when you push the legs all the way together about like this, gives him that hair of height, and that puts him about an eighth of an inch taller than Beast Boy. And then here he is next to our other biggest uh, builder figure, which is Cole Obsidian, and he's about the same size as Beast Boy. Yes, I think Beast Boy's just a hair taller than him. Yeah, that's pretty much just... Just a haircut, really, saying. literally yeah, just a haircut. Yeah, because Cole, Cole is a big boy, too. So yeah, these are our three biggest build of figures Absolutely. Tallest-wise. Yeah. I think, like, heaviest-wise, well, that's a, this dude. It's either Bane or it's Sugar Man, one of the two. Yeah, right, I forgot about Sugar Man. He's a hefty, too, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, we just love these build of figures. It's absolutely awesome. So, uh, but let's concentrate. Let's slide these oh, other yeah, way down. Doc. Yeah, Modoc's well, a fat man, too. But Modoc doesn't really cow. He's more like a build. He's not really build a figure. He's No, he was just on his own. He's yeah. just a figure. So, um, yeah, Modoc <laughs> and uh, uh, what, what's our other one? Mojo. Mojo, yeah, they're kind of their, on their own figures, which is really cool that Mattel was doing that. Um, so, Hasbro. anyhow, or Hasbro, sorry, yes. Uh, they did a good job both those figures. But anyhow, back to um, back to Atrocitus. Um, Show him up close, Boog. Go over the articulations, all that good stuff. Because I think this is a well, uh, well worth getting build a thing. Try to get him straightened out here. Yeah. So tall, it's a little difficult. There you go. Now he's straight, straight up. Well, the detail on that face is amazing. Yeah, when you get close, you can see the face. That's when he really looks awesome. Scary yeah. stuff, right, Boog? He, he really looks like a, a final boss. Yeah. In a video game. Are you gonna tell Red the World what he really is? Uh he is the red he is the red uh lantern. And if you're a DC fan, you probably already know that. Yes. Uh, but yeah, he is the uh red lantern. Wow. The Trostus looks amazing. So cool. Is he my favorite build a fig in the entire or in our collection? No. But he's definitely what I'm glad is in the collection. Yes. I think it was well worth getting. And the figures he came with were absolutely amazing too. So, uh, I guess let's go ahead and rate everything big, and we'll wrap this up. Yes. For the Trostatus Build-A-Fig. Wait. So, are we counting Build-A-Fig or not? Um, no. He'll go into a different one. Because we, we probably both know that he's probably our number one. We're counting the entire set of clean Build-A-Fig here. Yeah. So, we're missing somebody. Uh, Batman. Yeah. Where's he at? <laughs> All right. So these are our four figures that we got in the wave. Put it there. And you got to build Atrocitus, which is awesome. Um, so I guess uh, you want to rank them um, uh, individually? Uh, what do you mean individually? It's like our least favorite to favorite or just give them all uh, stars? Um, I, think, I think we'll do like, uh, I think we'll do stars and then we'll, we'll do like least favorite to favorite. Okay. All right, so, so you, like, am I going first or are you going yeah, first? Yeah, you go first. Right, now, we're not including the build figure in this, obviously. Yeah. This is just the four uh, figures. So the we will give the build figure a star rating. So first off, I guess I'll start with Jermaine Leonard. He's right here, and I'm going to give him 4.5 stars. I think he is a great figure all the way around, and there's not a lot I would change about him. I don't really have a lot to complain about. Uh, it's like a perfectly good Green Lantern figure. Um, so yeah, 4.5 stars for me. Yeah, 4.5 stars for me as well. Um, he is... Uh, but the main reason is he's not my ideal Green Lantern. Uh, I think uh, for me, my Green Lantern should uh, should be a darker green. Okay, gotcha. Okay, uh, now to Death Storm. Uh, Death Storm. Uh, I think he is the gem in the pack. To me, he gets five stars. I uh, love how he looks with the lantern and the head sculpt. To me, is absolutely awesome. So freaking cool. I uh, love this guy. So five stars for me for Death Storm. Yep, five stars for me for the same reasons Dad has. All right. Uh, so next, Zombie Superman. Zombie Superman, and I'm going to give him a four point five stars uh, because I think he looks absolutely awesome. 
Um, the face, the, the head sculpt is really, really good. Um, I don't have it close enough right now for you guys to be able to see him, but in the review, you can see it really good. Uh, a lot of good details there. He looks really zombified out. Um, I love the way they did the cape. Uh, the only reason he did 4.5 stars is because, like I said, his suit isn't exactly my, my favorite suit ever, uh, that design. But, of course, you know, McFarlane is just going with whatever they did in the comic book, I'm sure. So, that's that. Yeah, let's see. Um, I think for this one, I'm going to go with... Um with uh four stars just because um uh I do kind of think the face does look uh it uh does look a, a little a little bit weird it's kind of supposed to but um but it's not like uh it does it doesn't really seem uh, evil he just seems sad <laughs> he okay. just looks sad <laughs> okay I but I, I feel like if he had uh, a bit more of uh um uh, uh maybe like a bit more of like um uh, maybe like an evil expression that he'd probably be uh uh, have a higher rating. For okay. Them. Okay, then Zombie Batman. Alright, Zombie Batman, I'm gonna give, uh, a solid four stars. Uh, he's just, um, he's, he's cool. I, I like the figure. Uh, nothing wrong with it at all. Uh, just not my absolute, uh, you know, favorite in the set. Yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna give it, uh, a four stars as well, but for a different reason, um, I do think he does have a bit of a, a standing problem. Okay. And uh, I feel that that knocks off a, a point for me. Gotcha. All right, so now I guess we're going to rank. Uh, so, from... Well, actually, yeah, we have to give uh, Tarasitis a star rating. Okay. Uh, which is five stars. Yeah. For, for me? Yeah. Uh, no, I'm giving him, uh, as far as build figures are concerned, uh, or just figure all together, I'm giving him four stars. Um, I like him. I think he's a great figure. Uh, but you know, five stars would have to be perfect for me, and and he just doesn't. And not not an arc on McFar knock on McFarlane or anything, but he just doesn't have uh, a ton of detail. He doesn't require a ton of detail because of the suit he's wearing, um, except for the face, which they did do a great job with that. But you know, I've just seen other uh, figures that just have a lot more detail, and that's the only reason. Like I said, for me, he's a four star, not. A yeah, I think I think I am going to change my answer to four point five to four point five stars just because. Uh, for me, uh, because actually he was in one of my Lego video games. Okay. And, uh, that's why I know who he was. Oh, I was wondering. Um, who you so, um, so, uh, but, uh, compared to that to this, I think he, uh, I think he should have been a bit bulkier. So, um, okay. You, like he should have been the size of Beast Boy, you thought? Uh, you said Beast Boy's a lot bulkier. Yeah, I think he should have been, like, a lot bulkier, like, uh, like Beast Boy. Gotcha. And even Beast Boy, like I said, I kind of knocked him the same thing because he didn't have a, a ton of details, but he even has more details than, um, uh... That's, I don't know about that, because he does have a lot of, like, uh, sculpted in stuff for, like, his arbor stuff. Uh, yeah, but I was just talking about, like, the stuff around the arms, the fur and stuff, and the feet, you know? Yeah. And actually having the haircut and stuff. Seems like this yeah. is more detailed. But, um, but, like, when you go to... Uh -oh. If you go to compare it to somebody like this, Club Obsidian, then you can just see the detail differences. There's yeah. so much more work in this. So anyhow, yeah. but yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. I like the build a figure. Four stars is, is great, for, I think. Okay, now to rank everyone from worst to best. Yes. Okay, uh, so you want to go first on this one? Uh, yes. All right. Let's see. Least favorite to favorite. Um, I think... Let's see. Um, I think yeah, I'm gonna go with hmm, between these two. Okay. I think because of the feet problem, it's gonna have to be Zombie Batman. Okay. Uh, because for me, if uh, for a figure to be good, it has to uh, function properly. Looks cannot get uh, get you uh, everything, at least for me. I agree. It's important. Uh, well, there has been evidence that uh, Dad uh, does not agree with this, because he really put the Aquaman guy above above Super Scroll. At least the Super Scroll can articulate. Sometimes, yes. Sometimes, right. <laughs> Just depends, which I really like to figure. Anyway, uh, but uh, but yeah, that's why. But because of the standing problem, that is why he is at the bottom of the list. All right, at least for me. Okay, and then well, you can go do all your tell you all mine. So you got that's four. So who is three? Uh, number three is going to be uh, it's going to be the Green Lantern. Okay, uh, because kind of like I said earlier, he's just not by uh, like mental image of Green Lantern. Okay, uh, but he is very close though. Right. 
Uh, then I think number two is going to be Zombie Superman. Okay. Even though he does look quite quite sad in the uh, in the expression, uh, he still is a cool figure. Right. And then uh, number one or number two, kind of the build a figure if you do, um, is uh, Deathstorm because um, well, I kind of already said uh, everything earlier. Well, I guess Dad did, but yeah, I agree with Dad. Uh, the uh, pretty much uh, the head sculpt is awesome, and um, yeah, that's uh, it's pretty much just a pretty cool figure. It has the shoulder pads, details. It's just uh, awesome, by opinion. Okay, all right, Dad, you're up. All right, I'm up, and I'm really close to where you're at. So number four for me is going to be uh, Batman. Okay. And like I said, he's he's a great figure. Um, just when you pick him between these these, he's my least favorite. And I think just because of uh, the uh, the aesthetic of it, um, you know, the kind of the screaming face, that kind of thing, kind of throws me off. But he's still a, a very cool figure. Um, but he's going to be my least favorite in the set. Then we're going to have followed up by uh, Superman. Again, I love this figure too. Uh, Zombie Superman, yes, love the details it in his face. You know, but like I said, his costume is not my absolute favorite. But I do love the shredded cape, so that's some good things on that too. Uh, next up for me is going to be Green Lantern. I don't know why. The more I keep staring at this figure, the more it grows on me. I just feel like they nailed it. I, it's a simple suit. It shouldn't be ranked this high because this figure is not that hard to do. But in my opinion, they just nailed the Green Lantern. I love it. I love the colors. I think I like the colors. I love the green color, the shade they chose uh, with the outfit. It looks super clean. The giant sword, and he also has a green, actual Green Lantern over there too. Um, I don't know if he, did he come out with interchangeable hands? No. So that would have been uh, that would have been a good option when you finally need them. You don't get them, of course, yeah. but it would have been cool to have that so that you could put this uh, him holding that up too. Yeah. So I love that he come with all the accessories and, like I said, I think I mean, I'm not even a big Green Lantern fan, but I like the way yeah, they did yeah, this. Yeah, Dad thinks he's annoying. <laughs> yes, very annoying. And the number one for me, of course, Light Boob, Death Storm. Uh, this is a per perfect figure to me. They nailed the head sculpt, the, the outfit, everything looks great. Absolutely love it. Uh, so good. Yeah, the number one county that built the figure for me is still uh, Atrocitus. So he is your favorite out of all of them? Yeah. All right, cool. And, uh, Dan, what about you? Um, yeah, come on. The big figures are just awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's really close between him and Firestorm, though. Yeah. Really, really close. Really, yeah. really close. So anyway. All right, everybody. Hope you enjoyed our um, review here for the. Uh, so uh, the builder figures are uh, us still thinking that the builder figures are better than the rest of the set survives. I don't think like the builder figure has one in our full set ranking since uh, Super Scroll. Yes, terrible Super Scrolls. Right, <laughs> right, right. Uh, so, oh no! Oh, I think the last time was actually uh, the mermaid guy. Yeah. Was, or no? Then we had uh, a, a, the the the. One we did early in the year, a, uh, a condo. Oh yeah, that that was him. That was pretty terrible. Yeah, that yeah. was him. But we've gotten way more. That's why you haven't seen as many build a fig reviews on it from our channel. It's because we've gotten way more picky about yeah. uh, the ones we do because yeah. there's such an expense involved in building it. And um, uh, let's face it, if the build a figure is not good, and you're also buying figures that you well, didn't uh, really want, well, it's also yeah, it's, like uh, becomes a, a a money pit. Well, also it's kind of, it's kind of like like for me, it's like um. It's like uh, I want to make sure that that dad uh, that uh, that dad also wants the build a figure, um, or at least is interested in uh, in building the build a figure. So that's why, like normally, I kind of just like wait for you to to pick something, and normally I go with it. Right, right, right. Yes. So, uh, but I think we've had uh, two good picks in a row here. Yeah, dad. Uh, Dad's a lot more like I think. Dad is a lot more picky about the build a figures than I am. Yes, mainly because of the expense involved. Yes. <laughs> yeah, these things get expensive. So, especially on the Marvel side. Not yes. so much the DC, because you only have to do four figures. But when you're having to buy six to eight on the Marvel side to get one built, that's uh, a little different. Yeah, we're saying you can have 200 as, bucks uh, in a uh, Build-A-Fig. Easy. Yeah, as we're saying that, as we really have a Marvel Legends Build-A-Figure coming up soon. We do, and I'm hoping he's good. Yeah. Hoping. Yeah, he's, uh, uh, uh what's his name? Uh... Yeah, he's he's the lizard guy. Oh, no. Yeah, we'll we'll get to that one later on. Chad, that's it. Chad, yes, yeah, so we hope Chad's good. So anyhow, we hope you enjoyed uh, this series, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody. So like and subscribe, and what? And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.